What's up folks, Justin Phillip here, and today I'm gonna be showing you my cinema rig setup with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. I'm gonna show you how I transport it, I'm gonna show you what I take in my gear bag with a reality style one man band run and gun shoot, and how easy it is to go straight out of the bag to tripod, to shoulder rig, to handheld, to glide cam. The camera is rolling, two, boy, take two. Thank you man, so just that word from downstairs, and uh, I know you mentioned YouTube videos now, you're you one of those vloggers, what's going on? You know, a low budget indie filmmaker sharing tips and tricks with other low budget indie filmmakers. <laughs> So before we jump right into the camera bag, I wanted to show you guys two other pieces that I carry with me that have their own self-contained storage cases and they don't have to take up space within my camera bag. This is the DJI Mavic Pro. I know a lot of people still rock the Mavic Pro 2, but this is just kind of uh, my go-to. And of course, you uh, all know, you're familiar with this. This is the Roken on Cines. Uh, 10 mil, 16, 24, 35, 50, and the 85. And uh, this case right here was a $40 uh, Apache case from Harbor Freight. And then I took it to Burbank Foam Mart and they put me in custom foam here. Oh, here is the mother of all mothers right here. You'll notice I have some little extra bags hanging off of here. I'll get into this at the end. I don't want to lose anybody right off the bat. So if you stick through the whole thing, I'll show you what's in there. It's actually little goodies. Um, okay guys, here you go. Uh, this is a little aerial view of what's inside the bag. Now this setup is specifically for this specific uh, one man band reality show kind of shoot that I'm doing. Okay, right off the bat, you'll see in this pocket here, I keep my top handle. So it's a NATO top handle, and all I have to do is just slide it on right here, and then I pop out these straps, and then this bad boy just slides on out. I can just take it right out of the bag and put it right down here onto the tripod. As you'll notice, this tripod is the 500 Manfrotto, and I didn't even have to slide it. That's what I love about this one. Those days of sliding tripods is over. It just simply clicks in and clicks off. And that's what I like. It's really nice with the, uh, with the shoulder pad back here. So you'll see this is just right how I took it out of the bag. This is the power cable from the dummy battery, obviously. But there you'll see I can bring this around here. And now I can drop Betty's paws down. This is the XLR. This is just how it comes out of the bag, just like this. And then I can drop my hand supports down and they are good to go. As you'll notice right out of the bag, it already has the SSD on there. You'll notice how I have my SSD just chilling back here. Then here you'll see I have my Atomos power station with the two bad boy bricks. <clears throat> Keep it like that, much like a V mount there, you'll notice. Now, if I didn't wanna do it up and down like that, another way I could do it is to just put it full on like this. Either way, I'll be able to see my LEDs and see, um, I can watch the power. I'll probably only use a couple of those wides for the steady rig shot. So in here, I only have my two pro zooms, okay? I have my, the, you know, everybody's favorite, the Sigma 18 to 35, 1.8, with a wide open camera focus gear on there. So that's that, but this is my go-to for run and gun. This is the Tamron 28 to 75 f2.8. It's a consistent pro zoom on the Metabones. It's a consistent f2. The next thing to do is to put our lens on there. Now I've grabbed one of the cine lenses out of uh, my case because my Tamron is on this camera right here. So for the sake of this, um, the sake of this presentation, now I just pop that in there like that. If I wanted to, obviously I could put my follow focus along here somewhere, push these. I would bring my handles forward and put my follow focus on there. But um, for run and gun stuff, um, the follow focus tends to just be more of an annoyance 
I take my trusty Tiffin IR variable ND. This is the number one best variable ND to have, especially with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Okay, the next thing that's in here is my Shinobi. It's already got a battery in there. You'll notice that I keep it rigged up with a small rig. Now this is a NATO thing, and I'll show you how this works. And this is a the EVF holder. So this is for when I'm going shoulder rig, and you'll see how all that works. But for now, I can just pop that on, and now it's ready for shoulder rig. So right here, I have another NATO rail along here. And basically, I get these cables out of the way. I can just slide this on. Now I can put it any height I want, lock that down. And now you'll see it's rotatable like this. I can put it anywhere I want. And then all I simply have to do is just slide that on there and lock that down. And what's cool about this too is now I can, not only can I tilt here pretty, you know, and this is all tension that can be tightened or loosened simply with the hidden Allen key wrench that just happens to stay in the NATO top handle. And you would just pop it in there if you wanted to loosen or tighten the tension. But I can also do this too. Extra batteries. Uh, I lucked out because the Atomos power station, which powers the BIMC 4K, the Shinobi, and uh, one extra little LED that I take with me for running gun shoots, a little aperture LED. They all take these MPF batteries, so these are spare batteries. And in here is my mic kit. My Sennheiser G2s, backup mic, some rye coats. I have my receiver here, my Sennheiser receiver. You notice how I had the XLR breakout kind of hanging out up here. The Sennheiser has a little cold shoe thing on the back, and I can just mount it right here, just like so, and bada boom, bada bing, there we are. Perfect, uh, perfect for run and gun, one man band uh, shoulder rig, and it feels good, it feels good. One of the selling points of these wooden handles is just how you can kind of walk around and just let it rest right in your arm. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is show you guys a different option, a different flavor if you didn't wanna go full on uh, shoulder rig like that. Um, let's say that it wasn't, it wasn't a day where you had to capture audio and it wasn't a day where you had to basically be on a shoulder rig. If it was more of like a B-roll day, for instance, I can show you kind of a setup that's more similar to a RED camera. And now you see here, now it's more of a, in the fashion of a RED camera pop it off here and now my Blackmagic Cinema camera is very similar to a, a RED, just like that. I've mounted my power station and my SSD on here and the, the Shinobi in the front and I have, side, I have a side NATO handle there, a side grip of my camera, top handle up here. So it's very much for B-roll, you know, capturing it, look, it you know, it actually looks pretty professional, not gonna lie. Before I was thinking like, oh man, this looks nuts. Just because we're used to seeing, you know, people run around with those little, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hello? All right, so you guys asked for it, so, and we gotta do it anyways. So we're gonna get some, uh, we're gonna get some practice shots today. This is my boy, Justin Miles here. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, you might, you might recognize him from Nickelodeon or Disney, right? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, don't no. be shy. No. Don't be shy, man. <laughs> don't be shy. Come on now. Just hang. I'll be. Yeah. I'll, that's still scary, though. It's scary, but it'll save it. Yeah, you know? you're right. You're right. So it's, See, it's safety first, you. folks. Even with your gear, for not me. just with your life, but the lives of your gear. Let's see if I can get it in there. Chain gang. She's on the. She's on the fly cam, steady cam, chain gang. On the chain uh, gang. It's something, but you know. If I hit a rock and my whole life just crumbles before our eyes. Black Betty dies, everybody dies. I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll, have, to, I'll have to do the shoot with the GH5. Oh, then they'll be no. mad because it's it's not good dynamic range. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Get it done. I'm like, uh, Marianne was saying I'm the, uh, what's the guy's name from Back to the Future? Doc? What's his last name? I don't remember. I'm the Doc of YouTube. <laughs> Just this insane guy with his fucking, ah, he's all my stuff, and there we go. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. I've actually never seen that movie. Back to the Future? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Film student. Okay, here we go.
Okay guys, so there's the rigs. If you are curious still about the little packs that were on the front of my bag hanging off, um, one of them is simply just an aperture LED, you know, the little Amaran. It comes with a tungsten and a normal diffusion uh, hard gel, little ball head. It's just always nice to have some kind of little safety. Obviously, I do keep uh, my Kino 4 bank in the car. I will have that tomorrow but I'm hoping I won't have to bust that out. This is my little director's ditty bag. Uh, I keep this, whoa, <laughs> I keep this, uh, you know, it just goes right on your belt and it's always, always on my side. Now this is just bonus. <clears throat> I always keep this stuff with me, even on jobs where um, I'm just directing and not shooting. I keep a little blower. This is uh, my little uh, lens cleaner with a brush. It's got spray on one side, brush on the other. Um, <clears throat> have my LED flashlight. That's the, the flashlight is really nice for, um, spotting the, your, um, like some, and sometimes on some shoots you can't see the, um, can't see the leveler uh, underneath your tripod head. So this is nice to make sure you're always leveled with the tripod I've found. Um, gray card, got to have that for exposure. Um, this is my Luxie for all that I use with the uh, Cinemeter 2 app for, you know, poor man's light meter, but pretty accurate. Um, <clears throat> have a microfiber towel in here and my little uh, small rig tool. Now this is like just a perfect little tool that has everything that a camera guy would need. It's, you know, I have a Leatherman as well. That was the third little bag strapped to the back of my backpack, but um, this is the small rig cameraman's leatherman I guess you could call it and so tend to wear this around my neck this is just a, another camera tool it's a one of the common allen keys and a quick release uh, flathead plate and I always just wear that around my neck and of course when I'm doing directing jobs I take my director's viewfinder and uh, it has all aspect ratios for all sensor sizes and even for anamorphic de-squeeze or whatever. So I have one of those as well. So there you guys have it. That is my breakdown of going from, that's a tripod, shoulder rig, uh, handheld. You saw the glide cam stuff with Justin. And then you got to see a little bit of my camera bag for what I take for this particular run and gun shoot. As always, thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out and gigantic thank you to all of my subscribers. We're over 600. That's pretty awesome. And uh, send in the questions, guys. Keep them coming. I'm hitting that shoot up tomorrow. Um, maybe I can show you guys some, some of the B-roll footage maybe. We'll see how well it goes. Who knows? It may not go well at all. Who knows? I might shit the bed. Uh, with that being said, that's a wrap.